Hey, hey, hey. Hi, hi, hi. I see by the countdown, I have about a nine second leg. How are you? Hello, everyone. You have 14 minutes before you have to mute for a meeting. Okay. I'll talk quiet in 14 minutes. I promise. I promise. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Ange. Hey, Jamie. Just got pictures of my knees. Hey, Deb. Congratulations again. Hi, Lori. How are you? How is everybody? Are you guys all good? I'm good. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Hi, Paula. Um, super, super excited. We're gonna make our own mica sprays today. I have my, I have my, uh, what, what you call that? Autofocus on. I have that on today. Uh, you'll see why. I'm gonna be showing things, stuff like that. If it gets too crazy and you don't like it, just tell me to turn it off. But it is on for the moment. Um, because I'm gonna have to be showing things up to you closely. Uh, so, hey, might as well use the autofocus. You're cleaning off your disaster of your desk. Oh, a disaster off your desk. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. We all have those on our desk sometimes, for sure. For sure. Um, I'm going to be showing you several different things today. Um, I'll try to keep my hands out so the camera doesn't jump. Uh, how to make your own mica sprays basically is the whole premise of the, um, I guess, tutorial that I'm giving you. Um, but also, I'm going to do a glaze as well. Um, everybody pretty much knows what mica is. Mica is the colorants that we put into our sprays and our stuff and we can make that very very cheaply um i for one did not get in on the tim holtz sprays very upset about that so i'm gonna make my own um yeah and i'm doing it the cheapest way that i know possible is i hit up my dollar tree um and that's how i'm gonna do mine yeah you guys can uh follow this tweak this do whatever you want to do i do have a video from a very very long time ago i show you five different ways to make sprays and one of those included kool-aid um so i pretty much tried it all uh, i am working with one new product today and that is a writ dye uh, i haven't worked with that before um and there's something that you could use that I'm not also going, I'm not going to use that either. And that's magicals. Magicals are uh, a little bit expensive, but same premise, they're mica powder basically because of the shimmer, the colorant, everything that you want in it. Um, is everybody ready? I know red dye is, is hot. I don't think red dye gets its due. Do that. It doesn't, Amanda. I don't think it's its due diligence or whatever you say. So good to see all of you in here. Um, so I went to the Dollar Tree, and of course, the Dollar Tree has these little spray bottles. Um, I've already pre-cut my spray bottles down because when you get the spray bottle, the little stick or mm, hose, whatever you want to call it. It's really long. It hits the bottom of the canister, and I don't want to do that uh, because it's a mica spray. Michael's micas settle, and I don't want it, my nozzle to get clogged because you do have to have a adhesive in here in order for it to stick to whatever it is you're spraying. The autofocus is already driving me crazy. I'm sure it is you guys too. Um, but believe me, it. it sorry, I got to do it. So, what I have to try out for my micas, um, I did find these at Walmart. They are by Creative You. This was in the soap making section. Jamie, you should be very familiar with the soap making section. Um, I want to try these out. Uh, this was the whole inspiration for doing this video and 
for making these powders was finding this at Walmart. Uh, these were like 247 and you get four colors. And mica powder goes a very, very long, long way. So I'm sure I'll have these for a while. Um, I was really interested in this pack right here. You know, that's my jam. Those are my colors. That's like a, a maroon color. I don't know. Once I open them, if they have a color on them, I'll let you know. This looks rust to me. This looks vintage color to me, which is gold. And there's a silver. And then this one is this really pretty teal, a yellow, a pink color, and a purple. I know the glare of my lights is probably a little shiny. But those are... I want to, I'm really excited to try these. I've never tried these. I have tried it this way before. Went to the Dollar Tree and I got these. Um, they're a buck. They're LA colors and makeup, makeup is mica. Um, and these are all the shimmering. So this one is called Honeysuckle. This one right here is called Honeysuckle. Um, this one is sunshine, which is kind of a gold color. I'll turn it there on the side so you can see. This one is radiant, which is absolutely gorgeous. Used this before, and they had a grape jelly, which is a grape color, um, purple. And then uh, I wanted. They usually have a color called Snow White, and the Snow White in this is uh, really pretty. They were out of it. Didn't have it. I was bummed. Um, so, couldn't get the Snow White. So, I did find uh, this color by a company called Color Squad. Okay. If it's not going to work, I'm going to turn it off. Anyways, Color Squad. It's white. Um, I'm going to chop it all up and then we're going to dig out of it. I just I showed you how much I wear makeup. But you can see the shimmer in it. Hopefully, you can see the shimmer in it. Let me pull my light over. It's a big light. There we go. There's some shimmer in it. It's there, believe me. And then I found this really cool one. It's like a midnight blue color. This puppy, she shimmers. See her shimmering? Yeah, she shimmers. Look how pretty that color is. Uh, yeah, I want to make a spray that color. Uh, the mica itself is not going to make the, the color. I can't just add this and bam, it's a spray. It has to have something else in it to make the color richer or towards the color that I want. There's a couple of ways that you can do that. You can use markers, you can use food coloring, you can use um, red dyes, which I'm going to try. I've never tried that before. Um, you can use, uh, what is that, uh, watercolor wash, I think it's called. Uh, anything that has color in it. Um, so I'm going to try and match my colors. I'm going to make new colors because I have a ton of markers right here. We're going to take them all apart. We're going to cut them up. Um, some are Sharpie. Some are just cheap from the Dollar Tree. But because I do have this teal color in this package, I want to use the teal marker for that to just give it an extra punch. Um, I tried to match my colors as best as I could of what colors I wanted to make. I don't have this color. I do in the writ. Um, it's actually called Wine. Um, I think that's a beautiful color. And you can get this same result with Black Cherry Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah, you can. Um, the other things that you need is you need a adhesive. There's a couple of things that you can use for adhesive. Beacon makes an adhesive spray. Um, get it at the Dollar Tree. I've never used the spray before. What I did is I've used the hairspray. Um, hairspray will make it stick to your paper or whatever substrate that you're working with. And you want to use 91% alcohol. 
the reason for the 91% is because it will dry faster. Um, they do make alcohols that are 70 and 50. Uh, what it is, is it's 70% alcohol, 30% water, 50% alcohol, 50% water. Um, it's just, all this does is help with your drying time. That's it. It doesn't matter. You can use whatever kind of alcohol that you have on hand, because this is like a frugal way to make mica sprays. And I'm also going to be making a glaze, and I'm just going to use my Mod Podge, um, Dimensional Magic. That's all I'm going to use. That's it. Um, and if you guys have been watching uh, Tracy Fox's channel, she put a free digital up on her site. She's having a um, challenge this uh, month about leaves. I think it's called Falling in the Leaves or something like that. Hey, Whitman, what's up? How you doing? How you doing? Um, I'm sorry, let me go back up. I was talking. So this is basically, I see it hopping. I do. If it's, it's annoying. I know that this, it's annoying, but it will help once I start making the micas that you see this. I'm also, these are color wash. These are made by Tim Holtz. These are really old, really, really old. Um, I have used these before. Uh, they're by Ranger. Um, so you could use this as the base of your color too. Because this is already in a pump, I'm just adding mica to the bottle and adding some adhesive to the bottle because the colors that I have in this, um, this one is called lettuce. Uh, this one is terracotta. And I also have uh, one called bottle, uh, original name on that one. Bottle, which is a greenish color, or it's a very green color, uh, wild plum. And then I have eggplant, which is a very, very dark purple, all very fall colors. Um, so if I want to do anything fall, I can add my micas in here and it might work and it might not. I don't know. We're going to try. You know, I like to try things and if they don't work, I'm going to tell you it's not working. It looks like crap. So that's, I'm going to play. I'm just going to play. Um, I will make if I okay I have a ton of these I have a ton of the sprays and the only thing about using the Dollar Tree spray caps is it's a circle um it's a full-on like circle when you spray it that's the only thing I don't like about these bottles I want to see because you can see where it comes out if I put something up around that, or I can, you know, I know you can like half spray and dribble. What if I don't want the dribble? Uh, like maybe I can cover half of it up with a piece of, you know, painter's tape just for that time that I need it. It's going to be a mess. This is a mess. This is really messy to make. Um, but I have gloves. Believe it or not, I bought gloves. Um, so sometimes these bottles, they're great. But they can be a pain in the butt because they circle and they go everywhere. Um, because right now I'm using one for my white. And this is just acrylic paint and water. That's it. And I sprayed this thing. It was on my mouse. It was on my computer. Went up to my speakers. And I'm like, I was just spraying right here. Right here. It was on my desk underneath my mat here. And I was just like, this is crazy. So that's how I know that this has a whack circle spray. That would be the only thing that I don't like about these bottles. That'd be the only thing. Um, and as far as getting into, I mean, you can go really far with these, with the materials that you have. Magicals. Micas, they're micas. But. These are super pricey, super pricey. Would I use these for a spray in a pinch? Maybe, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to be making any of, 
of the sprays out of magicals those they're just too expensive they're they're really expensive they're like 19 bucks for one of those things yeah they're expensive oh sorry there's that bruise again i'm sorry um if you saw it um so that's what i'm planning on doing oh i hit my mouse sorry i'm missing all the conversation um, why thank you jamie no hulk smashing in the chat donna Mm hmm yep you can use candle wax to change the spray and chip off to the grid. Mm, good idea good idea excellent and that's what like i want this whole tutorial to be about because i'm not the first person to make this you can look it up you can find someone better than me you can find yeah there's a lot of different ways that ladies do this. This is how I have done it in the past, except for the writ and except, except for the color washes. And I've never, ever made a texture dimensional paste with it. And I just happen to have this bottle of dimensional magic. I don't even think I've ever used it. Um, I just want to see what it does. Just want to see what it does. Uh, so I've got black card stock and i've got white card stock cut um i'll show you the different colors as we make them uh the markers when you use the markers they're going to have to sit for a minute because obviously it's going the alcohol is going to absorb the ink out um this lets you have a little control in what color you're going for you can leave them in overnight uh, and make sure, you know, that puppy's coming out white or, you know, like when it drains the, um, um, what's the thing in there called? The ink thing. Yeah, that. <laughs> that holds the ink. It's like a, a felt coloring. Um, I, I lose all my words every time I film, guys. <sighs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the better marker here would be the Sharpie. Sharpie is a good product. Um, and Sharpie had this really cool marker right here. And I couldn't decide if it was a gray or if it was a blue. It's a blue. Donna's like, it's blue. I'm like, okay, it's blue. But it's a very, very, um, it's a little bit different than this one. So I like this. This is more of like a dark indigo where that is like just midnight blue. So we're going to try it. We're going to try it. All right. I know. Shut up, Michelle. I'm shutting up now. So like I said, the alcohol content, um, I accidentally got 291s and 250s when I just went out and got alcohol. So the only difference that it's going to make is one is going to take longer to dry than the other. Might have to use my heat gun. It's okay. No problem. Um, I should have enough of the two here to do all of them. Um, and I want to try one with this spray. Because uh, this very well may work. It's not clogged in my bottle. Um, it's still... Nope. It's clogged in my bottle. Looky there. Not using this. Not going to. That is the beacon adhesive spray. Nope. I could pour it out, but you know what's going to happen? Oh, it's like coming out in like this gummy white stuff. Look. Ew. Gross. Um, what's going to happen is this is what's going to happen to my mica sprays that I make with this. No thanks. I'm good. Uh, see you later. I'm not going to use that. That is not Michelle approved. No. I'm not going to use it. But I'd try? No. Because it's just going to do the same thing to my mica sprays. And the way that I'm going to store them, I'm going to store them straight up. They're going, all the color is going to fall to the bottom. I have cut these pretty short. I mean, really short compared to what it's going down into the bottle. That's pretty short. Um, 
I don't want them to get clogged. I'm going to, you know, go sideways with them. If you want, you can put like a little pearl in there or a bead um, just to have something to shake it up. Um, I have many beads. That's actually a really good idea. Um, I have little beads. That will help shake it up. And they're actually too big to even get up the hose. So not worry about it. I'm going to put a bead in there. Why not? They put them in there. So let's make a color. Shall I make pink first, ladies? Ha 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 ha. I know the answer to that. I know. No pink. Pink everything. Um, I want to try these. This is the whole reason why I wanted to try this was these. Um, again, I got these from Walmart. They're in the craft section. They're by the soap making. They're for like bath bombs. I don't know. What did they say? Oh, gosh, I just said the B word. I don't mean it's uh, bath bombs, candles, soaps, and more. Okay, so we're just going to make a spray out of it. Um, I want to work with these because these would be my grungy go-to colors. Um, I'm also going to be making a black because I'm going to use a marker for that. So like whatever color you have in markers, that color is possible. You see, I don't have an orange here. I'm about to. Um, I have two different ones. Uh, there's no really red here. There's a red. Um, so whatever color you put in it to make it the shimmery mica, we'll pick these and we'll use these. Um, that's the mica part. Makeup is mica. Cheap at the Dollar Tree. Like I said, I think these were like two forty-seven, if I remember correctly. I don't know. Donna, you're in the chat. What did I pay for these? I forget. And it was no more than three bucks for sure. So in order for these colors to work, because this is just the mica, I need to find a color on my desk that will work. And do they make gray markers? They do. I should have gotten a big one with all the grays. So I'm not going to be able to do my silver. But I can use my silver as far as if I wanted that as purple with some silver. I could put it in there. Oh, are these going to rip when you take them apart? Please don't. Boy, they don't want you to steal one of these. Hold on. They're like got that gum stuff on it. I don't want to tear my packaging. Because. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. They got these little glue dots in between them. I don't want to tear my packaging. Oh. No tearing the packaging. Okay. Okay. Wow. I was in suspense. I don't know about you guys. Okay, now you have that annoying little glue dot everywhere. So I want to try this color right here. It's a wine color. Looking up. Yes, my sleeves are real today. They are. These are, it's a real shirt today. Oh, I solved that problem. I got leg warmers from the Dollar Tree. Sure did. Look at that. I filmed that whole first collab video with these. Bet you guys didn't know. That bruise has not gone away yet. Um, so I did get leg warmers. And they work perfectly. I have them in four different colors. <laughs> um, they're great for filming if you've, you know, done something and, you know, it just, it's just a nasty little bruise right there. I'll roll this one up. This one, this arm's okay. Um, but they work. All right. I'm going to shake it down. And I'm going to, for my color... I believe, here's the Ritz, I'm going to use the wine color. 
And is this matchy matchy? Yeah, it kind of is. So when you have matchy matchy like this, this is the wine color. Actually using something like the radiant would work better. You would see still the wine, but yet the radiant would come through. Um, this is a lighter color. Um, I don't think me matching the colors will be as sparkly or as shimmery uh, as if I were to use a different color. So not going to do that with these, but with these, what I want to do with these is, hold on, I'm picking out a color, picking out a color that, all right, is going to go with it, but not be like too overpowering. Hmm. Let's just play. Let me just play. Let me get it in the bottle. And Jamie is correct. If you put your alcohol in first and then your mica, your mica will dissolve faster. Does everything have to be so difficult? Mm -hmm. Apparently it does. Okay. And I'm only going to fill them up about, oh, a little over, let's say, um, two, two thirds of the way. Then I'm going to add the hairspray probably up to the rim. And then I'll be adding the things that I want to put in there. So I put markers in there and I put them in uh, the marker ink things in there. Uh, I don't want it to overflow. I need gloves. I need gloves bad. Because uh, it's really messy. Really messy. I have a whole box. Boom whole box I'm ready to go so I'm just gonna add some in here this is the 91% for the faster drying hold on I'll look up in a second I see the chat going just take your time with it like I did just take your time take time all right that is open Open stuff around electronics. Fun. All right. It's like three quarters of the way full or two thirds of the way full. Okay. Totally thought it was a sweater, didn't you? Yeah. In that first video. I know, Amanda. It worked great, right? It was. Yes. Genius. Genius. Donna found them. She's like, leg warmers. I'm like, yes. Because you guys know how those band-aids, or those band-aids, those hair ties were, like, cutting my circulation off. I, by the end of that day that I showed you the little trick, uh, I, like, couldn't, there was no feeling. <laughs> I could feel my fingers. So, oh, I'm over now. Oh, sorry, I didn't even go quiet. My bad. Click on my because it is hot in here. I did close the window because the school kids will be coming home. See that alcohol? It's all right. It's going to dry. No worry about it. Um, wow, you didn't miss anything, Debbie. Shoo, Jamie. I'm going to turn this on over here so you have a little bit more light. I don't know what is up with my lighting lately. The have filming lights and they just don't seem to be bright enough all right so i'm gonna put the mica powder in again i don't know what color i should use for this uh maybe the wine would work i don't know i like to try it though i could try it oh that can get oh that dot on the back is gonna stick to my gloves yeah i don't like that little dot Pouring it in here. See, like, that is, like, pure mica in there. You can see it in there. Shiny. 
mica. I got popsicle sticks because I'm afraid to, not afraid, but I won't put too much in. I'll take baby steps on it. Uh, this is kind of chunky, so we're going to stir it up a little bit in the pack. Ooh, this is like chemistry day. Science day, everyone. Oh, that is shiny. Oh, yeah. Mmm, yeah, that worked great. Okay, don't use a popsicle stick. Look at that. That just went all the way around the bottle. We're off to a jamming start. Okay, too big. Not using those. Would have been better if I just poured it in myself. This is going swimmingly. All right, so next choice, end of a paint thing. Look at all that mica right there. Mm-hmm. Good job, Michelle. I'm such a pro, y'all. Just such a pro. Yep, and when I wipe it up, boy, my mat is going to be a wine color. It's going to be pretty, though. If I kept these and used them. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that is a pretty color, though. Let's try and soak it up as much as I can. Oh, it's like a grapey color. Ooh, that's pretty. It's pretty, right? Yeah, I like that. So, Mike is in the bottom, sitting on the bottom. Um, going to be hard to show. Hold on. This will be the lid for this. Uh, it's right there on the bottom. I haven't shook it up. Nothing yet. Because I want more. I want more in there. Okay. Let's try paintbrush. Maybe that'll work a little bit better. Might just work better just shaking it in. But this way I just have a little bit more control of what I can add and what I can't. How much is going in there? Do I have one of those little scooper things? I wish I had one of those little bead kits that have like the scooper thing. I don't have one of those. This is working fine. Works fine. I like it. I like this color. I don't want to ruin this color. Okay, shaking them over my trash can. I'm not going to label these. Uh, they're in clear bottles. Um, so I can pretty much see my color. Wow, you can see it in there already. Just swishing around. That's really pretty. Really pretty. Wow, that is very pretty. That may just even work by itself. I don't know. Thanks, Amanda. I show you what not to do for sure. I'm telling you. We're going to change the channel name. What not to do with Michelle. <laughs> yeah, let's put that up a little bit. Uh, popsicle stick, or popsicle stick. Uh, the paintbrush works much better. Um, okay, but I want some color in there. I can see it going around. There is definitely Mike in there. It's really thick. Uh, but I want to add some shine to it. And that's where these come in. And these do have like the little makeup brush. And I could tap it in there and do all that kind of stuff. But, oh my gosh. Um, an easier way to do it is to go in from the bottom. And the bottoms pop off. Let's see if I can get this to pop off. All right. Where's my pokey tool? Pokey tool. There you are. Some of you got these from Stock Your Stash. OK. 
Okay. So it's opened. You just have to go on the side and just pop it right off. The problem is popping it out. Okay. There we go. There's the powder. This is what this looks like. Uh, this is the honeysuckle. I've used the honeysuckle before. The honeysuckle uh, is a really, really nice shine. Um, really natural looking shine. What is that big glob of whatever that is right there? Oh, it's the brush. <laughs> That's the little brush sticking through. I was like, oh, there's like something dark. And oh, yeah, it's the brush. Okay, so I have all this to play with. This goes all the way up the sides, everything. Yeah, this is nice. All right, cool. This is cool. All right, so I got to lean it against something because those lids are kind of domed. Not, not fun. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my hairspray in. Again, it's not a lot. This is all this is doing is just to make sure that you're putting some kind of adhesive in. So it sticks to your paper. And I got unscented. No big deal. Scented if you want. It just hey, it can't be aerosol. Don't use like that's no. Don't use that. Don't use that. Don't use that. I'm gonna put my little I'm gonna put my little bead in there. So I can make whoop. There. So when it sits, it'll be fine. Okay. I'm gonna get this. And this I kinda want a lot of. I can tell now this is just gonna take forever unless we come up with a better idea of me getting this out of here. <sighs> Let's see. Let's go with this. Let's try this. We'll narrow it down. Oh my goodness, it's not gonna come out of a jar with one hand. Seriously. Uh. Pulling, pulling, pulling. <laughs> oh, this is great. Important stuff. Just be statin. <laughs> right? Learning with Michelle. Okay, so palette knife. Oh, perfect. Oh, I like that. Uh-huh. Don't grab like clumps and clumps, but if you go skinny enough, it just knocks right in there. Ooh, ooh, yep. Like that. Like that a lot. Mm-hmm. And I was really uh, concerned with how much I'm using because it's from the Dollar Tree, and if I want more, I'll just go get some more. I don't think that stuff's going up in price. Other things are. Okay, now listen. I got ball in here now or a bead. Oh, you can't even hear the bead. Hmm. Took the whole dramatic climactic off. Oh, yeah. Can you see it in there now? Maybe if I do a lighter color, you might be able to see it. Oh, it is swirling around in there like crazy. There's nothing but like glimmer and shine. Okay. Lighting. You, you stink. See it in there? I don't even know how to make this better for you to see it in there. It's in there. That shine is in there. Let's try spraying it. So maybe you can see the shine that way. I am going to spray it over my trash can because this is not going all over my desk. It was practice. Ooh, look at my trash can. Just, yeah. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. I like that a lot. And you can see the shine. 
the glimmer in it. Oh, it's pretty. In real life, it's so sparkly. It's nothing but sparkle. Oh, that's pretty. Love the wine color, too. It's not too much. This reminds me of the black cherry Kool-Aid that I did. I like it. I like it a lot. Let me get it up there. You guys can see. Hmm, yeah, autofocus. You suck. Mm hmm Sure do. It's dry already. And it's stuck on there. I see if it came off on my hand. Mm, a little. Not like like I'm walking out of the house with glitter all over me. Love that. Love it. Okay. We'll do a lighter color. That's really pretty. I like that. Okay. Let me put back on my glove. All right. See, that would have been all over my finger. I'm going to try and keep my right hand free. Oh, I like that. And that's just Micah and Micah. I didn't really need to put a color in there. Ooh, you guys should see it like when it swirls. I wish it would show up with how it's swirling. We'll do a lighter color. Let's do like a yellow or something. Uh, let's try it with marker this time. Um... Okay. Oh, you know what, though? Could I put essential oils in here and make it smell good, too? I wonder. I'd probably focus better if I would. Hmm, I don't know about this auto focus thing, you guys. I'm gonna go with this thing. I don't like it on. It's kind of worthless. Sorry if it's jumpy. Let's try a lighter color. So I'm gonna put some more alcohol in this one. And this time I'm going to use the marker. Let's go with the Sharpie so we get some good color. Uh, you're going to need tools to take the um, thingy out. I brought pliers up. Where the heck did I put them though? <sighs> Sorry, guys. Where did this put my pliers? I don't know, but I'll use these. Okay, I'm over my trash can. Trying not to make a mess when I pull this bad boy out. Um, taking the end off. A little tedious there. Yeah, that worked really well. There it is. Okay. Got it out. There, like the padding thing. I'm going to take my pokey tool again. See if I can reach down and grab that bad boy, and it pops right out. I'm gonna cut it in half because it's too big um, to go in there. I'm just gonna use all just just use your if you've got like good and bad things, use like the bad things because this ink is like nothing like it's already on my fingers, nothing to play with. Like, it messes everything up. Okay, so you see it's turning yellow. We're going to set that to the side for a little bit. And let's just prep some colors. 
I do want to try one with the writ. And the one with the writ that I want to try. And that one is called it's called Royal Blue. It doesn't look like Royal Blue to me. Um over the trash. Over the trash. Doesn't look like royal blue to me. Uh, kind of looks like purple in the cap. I'm going to pour this over my trash. Again, I'm going to try not to make a mess. Ooh. Uh, it looks like purple going in there. Then it looks like purple. Yeah. Try that. So that's the writ right there. Marker, writ. What else do I have? Marker, writ. We did a mica mica. That worked. Um, oh, I have these colors. The color wash. Let's do this lettuce. Oh, do these need shook? Mm. Directions. Doesn't say shake, but I'll shake it up. So this is a color wash. Again, Tim Holtz Ranger, very old. Um, one of my favorite colors, too. It's like this uh, really pretty, almost olive green color. Let's try one of those. Good thing I just poured that over the trash can. Color wash. Now yeah, let's put some alcohol in it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yep, it's on my hand. Okay. Let's get a wipe out and wipe the bottle off because this one really made a mess. Okay, these are messy. Oh, but that's such a pretty color. I was going to have a color on my hand, it'd be this one. Okay, so that's color wash and alcohol. No, we haven't added any hairspray yet. And you really can't forget that step because if you don't add an adhesive, it's not going to stick to any project. It's going to come out and all that glitter and everything, it's just going to fall off your page. Um, and it's not going to be shiny. It's not going to maintain its shine. <gasps> Carla Burrell. Hello, and I want to thank you. Hold on, let me wash my hands, wipe my hands off. You're here. Hello. Um, oh, I put it within reaching distance of me. Yeah, there it is. I want to thank you. You gifted me a piece of fabric. Um, hello, I love the grunge of this. It's absolutely beautiful fabric. Uh, from Pearl, and I appreciate it. Look at the script on it. So I wanted to thank you. I've been waiting to come live. So does this thing even work? There we go. I we got to get up there, huh? Beautiful, right? It's nasty. I love it. Um, thank you very, very much for the gift of that. Uh, I just got it the other day. And I just wanted to say thank you. Um, very pretty. Ha, it will be used for sure. Thank you very much. Get some of the dropper things will help with the mess. Okay. We'll not need to pour. Oh, I got what you mean. I have those. I know what you mean. Um, also, oh, I just had a thought and just lost it. Um, crap, where did I put them? It's like the story of my life. Where did I put them? Where did I put them? I don't know where I put them. Droppers, great idea, though. Great idea, Carla. I got it. Yeah, those aren't droppers. Yeah, no. Um, another thing that you can use as like your base color too is your 
uh, refills, ink refills that again, though, pricey, very pricey. Um, this is gonna, this is trying to keep it into, you know, single mom budget type here. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't, yeah. And I missed out on some colors and I want some colors. That's that. I'm going to go into sunshine here because I'm going to put sunshine in my. My. Um, yellow. Were y'all scared I was going to poke myself? I was. I'm not going to lie. I was holding my breath. It's a pretty color. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Feels good on my fingers too. So even though this still has like the ink in it, we're gonna take those out with tweezers. You can see, like if I would let were to leave this overnight, those dauber or those <laughs> ink stick things, whatever you want to call them, would become would come completely white because there's already at the end it's already like getting it out of there i don't know if me shaking it up helps any i don't know if this helps at all i could have skinned them open um there's a lot of things i could have done but then again would it have caused too much color i don't know but you want these to be pretty vivid and bright so why would i not do it all right there's another one that's upside down just don't spill right yeah i'm not happy I'm gonna get my big bead because i'm just putting it in there just because it's not gonna go up the little spout now hmm let's have some fun and try and get these out get our little sticky things Try not to make a spectacle out of this. There. Let me grab that a little bit better with there. Okay. See how the color is coming out of it? If I were to take like a craft knife, <laughs> watch out, box cutter. Um or a box cutter. Hold it. Let me kind of just pierce it open some. You know what? Finger seems to work better. There we go. I opened it all the way. All the way. Let's drive it back in there. Let's grab the other one out. This one even makes a difference. There's one I just cut. Okay, that's the one I just cut. So I need this one over here. Yeah, Michelle, both tweezers inside help. Not <laughs> one on the outside. Let's cut it open. This seems to have all the ink out of it. The ink seems to be resting down here. Let's cut it open. Shove it back in there. Why not? Not too much ink on me. My thumb, maybe a little bit. Who cares? Told you it's a messy project. Messy, messy, messy project. Uh, yeah, that works. Mm hmm Yeah. I'm going to split them all in half from now on. Because you can see them getting very, very white quickly. More quickly. Okay, there's that one. We'll let that sit for a minute. This is the writ. The writ sunk completely to the bottom. It is at the bottom. I will show you. Let's go ahead and put our little ball in. Because I'm getting fancy. And I'm going to put my little ball in this kawash. Let me put the lid on so you can see it. It's kind of cool the way that it's just sitting there. It's kind of eerie. It's kind of eerie looking. You see it just sitting, oh, get my big thumb out of the way. It's just sitting there. It's clear. Like, that's all alcohol at the top. It's just sitting there at the bottom. Let's shake that up. 
Oh, I don't know how the, I don't know if the roots can work, you guys. I can see it separating at the top. Like it's, wow. I don't know if that's going to work. Hold on, let me spray with this one spray. Really? Whoa. Okay, so here's what it sprayed, and it was royal blue. Uh, I either need to pour like the whole bottle of written here, because that is not blue, it is gray. It looks muddy. Um, wow. Okay. So I don't like that. I don't. I don't like that at all. That is not blue whatsoever. Like look at look at even the thing. It's it does not. There's no blue there at all. Dang. Okay. So I'll, I'll pour a little bit more color in it, but I mean it's pretty cool. Mm hmm So I filled it as far as I could because I still obviously have to put some hairspray in it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the hairspray in this one. If this is a chemical reaction and my YouTube blows up, I am so sorry, you guys. Well, what the heck kind of pour is that? All right. Get off there. What would be fun is I'm going to cut this off. Uh, to fit one of these bottles and see if it works because this might this sprayer might be a good sprayer you never know just playing just play I feel like a scientist here but I'm not I'm not shut not scientist okay what was I put oh I was pouring some of that in there all right because there's barely enough room to put anything in there Woo! Okay, I went a little too close to the top because all the colors at the bottom, I'm actually pouring a little bit of it out. Yeah, in my trash. Don't worry, I put a bunch of paper towels at the bottom of my trash because I knew I would be spilling things. Okay, so that is that. <laughs> Hello, welcome, people. Hi, Angie. How are you? Mint is correct. Okay. Are you supposed to use vinegar with the red guy? Oh, I don't know. Am I? I don't know. I just thought I spout. I saw it under my sink, and I thought, okay, I don't think you need alcohol with red. Maybe water. Okay. Well, I just flubbed that all up. All right. Again, what not to do? Okay. We'll change that one because I have another color. It's coral, and I have a wine. Um, I'll try just water with those. What do you think? We'll just try water. There's directions on the bottle. Serious, serious, seriously, Larson. Okay. Poor guy. Oops. Don't want to put my. Oh shoot. Sorry, that bruises up. Mm. Hold on. I'm reading the bottle. Mm-hmm. Looks like it's water. Okay. But that's to stain things. So yeah, all right. Water. Shake well before you use, oh, use barber gloves. Yep, yep, yep. Stainless steel pot. No. Oh, I see the vinegar. Yep. Okay. Dish detergent. What? Add one teaspoon of liquid dish detergent for best results. Add one cup of salt. Salt. For cotton and rayon. Oh, this is for. This doesn't say anything about paper. Of course, it wouldn't. Submerge and fold it. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, it does say something about vinegar, but it's for um, nylon, silk, or wool. And it does say water. Uh, and it says salt as well. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll try this one with water. Mm. Would explain why maybe it's separating. Yeah. 
girl with me. Okay. What was I using this? This is the writ. The writ that is wrong. Let's put a little sunshine in it. And you will see this bottle is full. See, it's right there. But it's sinking right down to the bottom. It's no big deal. Curious now what color this is going to come out. So far, no chemical explosion in my face. That's great. Get off. Oh yeah, this is just a flipping mess. It's very, very full. It's very, very, very full. Fun, good times. All right, that looks great. Am I wiping this makeup on my sweater? I sure am. Why could this makeup? It's gotta come out. All right, don't move. Oh, sorry about that brood. I keep I'm so sorry. Um, yep, it spilled, of course, absolutely, it did. Get some of the crap off my desk. Back it up, people, back it up. Oh, I was using a palette knife, that's why. Go away. That's how I take my things apart. That's how I'm going to get that out of there. All right, I need this. Okay, this is my spray bottle for this one. Hot mess. Oh, yeah, this is messy. Get it, girl. Okay, let's shake it. I'll shake it over my track. Oh, that's pretty though. You can see the mica floating in whatever color this is going to be. I don't know what color this is going to turn out to be. But the, what was that, sunshine? Boy, that's pretty. Again, probably not going to be able to see it because it's dark. But there's sunshine floating in there. Oh, and you can see the blue towards the side here. Mm -hmm. Let's spray it. So I know I did the right wrong. Okay. Oh, or maybe not. Holy what? Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Hold on for a second. Let me let this dry over my tr Oh, <gasps> the mica is actually separated from the writ and sitting on top looking like gold. Are you serious right now? You blow on it. Oh, that's a cool color. Can you see the gold right there? All right, let me get this thing to work. See it? It's like sitting on top of the die. Oh, that's very pretty. There you go. I'm really, really still. I'm not even breathing. Do you see the gold sitting on top? Oh, oh, all around the edges there. Oh, yeah. That's not bad. Oh, sorry. I don't. How do you. Whoa, down. Whoa, down. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty color. It rem it reminds me really, really close to this color, though. Oh, that's really pretty. <gasps> I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. I like it. I don't see anything wrong with that. That's pretty. Wow. I will make a label for this one, though, because this is the writ. Um, wow. And the way that it's sitting in the bottle is it doesn't look like these two products will ever come together. It's definitely separated. And I don't know if it's because I used the alcohol or what. See? See how it's just separated in the bottle? Do you see the gold, like, separated? Um, 
and I'm shaking. It's still there. It's still there. That is cool. That is super cool. Yeah, I like that. What guys think? Oh, how much hairspray? Um, I'm just putting in, okay, so about right here with the alcohol, about right here with the hairspray up to the line. So maybe a quarter of an inch. I'm not, it's just enough, Carla, for it to adhere to the piece of paper. If, you, if I didn't put anything in it, the mica would just fall off the page. Um, you have to have some kind of adhesive. We did uh, a little experiment with the Beacon Spray Adhesive that you get from the Dollar Tree. But my um, that was a brand new bottle, too, by the way. Um, it was cloggy, and I couldn't spray it. It came out in white clumps, so we just threw that away. It wasn't even an option because that's what it would do to these bottles as well. This is really cool. Like it's staying like to itself, but when I shake it up and I spray it here, I'll get, to, I'll get a new one. I'll spray it again and it separates and sits on top of it. It's kind of hot. I like that. Okay, again, big, huge. There you go on it. Oh! Oh, it looks like a geo. Oh, oh, how cool is this? Hold on. Maybe this is really fun. Oh, I like this. I like that I did this wrong. Total happy accident. Look at it. It looks like a geo. Can you see it? Can you see where the gold is staying around like the whole edge and then the color is totally separate in the middle <gasps> that is cool it's like it's outlined it how flipping cool is that oh that's cool okay i'm gonna say cool a million times again Oh, that, that's, yeah, mm, I'm going to do my other ones exactly the same that I did this. I love the separation of it. That, I like that a lot. A lot. I even love, like, up in here, there is shimmer in the, in the color up in here. There is. I mean, it's throughout. It's definitely throughout. But the way that it sets, see how it's throughout? Oh, it's actually picking it up. It is throughout. There you go. See, it is throughout. But that line that it makes, it's that line. Yeah. See, I, oh, I'm figuring out the autofocus. See, because there's color in there. But to look at it, it looks dark brown and shiny. But you can definitely tell this line. Oh, that's neat. Oh, that's a happy accident. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Let me wipe my hands off. I I I like that. Chemistry, right? I will take ten bottles, please. <laughs> right, Lori? You can make this at your house. I'm telling you. At the Dollar Tree. It's just this is very, very inexpensive things, but wow, cool happy accident on that. Oh, yay. Well, these uh, that I'm using, uh, everything in my room has turned to Bactive wipes because of, you know. Um, boy, I just took that ink right off my hands. Thank you. Um, because, you know, working on people's projects, going to other people's houses, everything is as clean as possible that I want to be. Um and there's all the ink came off on it. They're nice. They're nice. You can get them at Walmart. Um, there's one in every room at my house, by the way. For sure. Okay. So, super cool. All right. I'm done with that marker. That was super cool. Total happy accident. Let me just see. 
because I'm not going to use this because I don't use hairspray or any hair products in my hair. Let's see if it will fit on one of these. Oh, and it, nope. No, it does not. Nope, too big. It's all right. It's all good. You, would, you don't really even need it, but I do need it to shut my hairspray back up. Okay, cool. All right, so here's these little puppies that we just let sit. And come out straighter, please. Definite difference. Um, it took most of the color out. It's pretty clean now. Let me take these out and move over my trash can. Oh, what a happy accident that was. Oh, what color do I want to do with the coral and the wine now? Ooh, the wine with gold would be pretty. The gold. That would be pretty. Ooh, or the radiant. Oh, that would be pretty. Okay. So that's about how um, full. Let me just put the thing in here so you can see. Uh, about right there. With it's right here. If that helps any with showing you how much I'm putting in here. There is color on the bottom of this sitting there waiting to be shook. My little pearls in there to shake it up. And it is yellow. We see it's yellow. It's kind of looking like pee for you guys. Uh, but it's yellow. It's yellow. Okay. What color do we want to accent this with? Let's see. Okay. So, if these are pigmented powders, right? I really like this rust color. Let's, I want to try this. And none of my, uh, that I got from the Dollar Tree is really this color, except close to the wine color would be darker. Let's put in this one. Let's try this one. And these are a little chunky, so you know what? I'm going to try and shake it in there, you guys. I'm going to go over my trash can and just try and shake it in there. Okay, yeah, I can tell you right now it works 10 times better. Yep, just, just shake and tap, shake and tap. Okay, yep, didn't even get any on the outside. Perfect! Okay, so that kind of is looking ambery now. Ooh, ooh, what a pretty color. Okay. I have all these open little mica things. I'm going to have to find a storage thing for this. Okay. Let's put this in here. Oh, my hairspray. Where did the hairspray in? Hold on. Over the trash. Like I said, I did put, um, and Carla, it's like uh, maybe a quarter of an inch. It's... If I was dropping it, I would say, and had a dropper like the normal big size dropper, I would say just a big dropper of it. Okay, so that color, remember, it kind of looked like pea. But look at that now. No, don't look, it doesn't look like pea anymore. Oh, it's like magic before your eyes. Do you see that in there? Look how pretty that mica color is. That's pretty. I know y'all can see that swirling around in there now. Shaking it side to side. Got my little bead in there. That's gorgeous. And like I said, once these like settle overnight, it'll be at the bottom. It's like a normal mica spray and you're just going to have to keep shaking it every time that you use it. But look at that color. Yes, please. Uh-huh. Think I'm going to like this one. Yeah, we'll see. Sure, what would I put in these things? But I don't have that many things. All right, all right, I'm looking. Hi, Dana. Did Dana come in? Hi, Dana. Hi, hi. Sorry, I am too busy looking down at my chemical table here. Um... Oh, hi, bye, Deb. Whoops. Bye, Deb. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Okay. Yes, that one. Right, Ange? Ah, oh, it's really pretty. It's the color of rust, Ange. This would be rust. Okay. Let's go over the. Let's get a nice piece of cardstock. Sprayed a couple times in my trash can. Oh, but it's not the color you think. Nope. Oh. It's not coming out how you think it is. Nope. I'm just drying it a little bit so you can see. Shaking it back and forth. Not the color you think. It's very yellow, but it, you can see where the mica forms around the edges again. I really kind of like that effect. I want to try this color with no color added to it and see if it will be rust, the color of rust. And I'm going to keep this piece of paper. I'm going to make up a quick bottle really fast. I'm going to put the alcohol in first. Where's it at? It's over here. Let's see what the difference is. Do I even really need the marker? Okay. I'm going to put the mica in. Much easier pouring it in that way. And then I'm going to put the lid on. Which one is the lid to this? This one, right? No. Yes? No. It's a new bottle. It's this one. Okay, so we have that. That's just the mica. Look at that. That's just the mica powder. I'm thinking I don't even need markers. Seriously. That's gorgeous. Okay. Let's add some hairspray really fast. Again, just enough for it to adhere. That's all we want. Should get a little bit of my thing. Oh, did I add a ball to this? I didn't add a ball. We need a ball. Or a bead. A bead. It's a bead. And I'm adding like the bigger one. So it doesn't go up my hose thingy. Oh, this is fun like this. It could be here for hours making colors. Don't worry, it won't stay on for hours. I'm trying to keep them trying to keep them lower. Well that's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna spray it and compare it against this yellow which we put the marker in because I thought just put a marker in for to add color. Let's see. Oh, oh, yeah, buddy. Uh, I can see where you would have to add the color because it is very flat. This would be, okay, if you just use the plain mica like I just did, this I would spray over a color because you'll see in a minute on its own. All right, hold on. It's drying. definitely drying on its own it's not what it looks like in the bottle it's very light and I pour a lot in here um, you'll be able to see it by the line that goes down the side okay so there see how it's kind of it, you can see my fingers through here too 
so it's like translucent i can see why you have to put a color in with the mica to make the mica really pop like it did come out i mean and the shine is really brilliant it looks great but you can see my hand through the back of the paper um there's like where it's most concentrated on the edge uh if i were using this and okay say i have a, a distress ink um and i wanted to add some shine to it this is how i would add shine i do believe that you have to put a color in with these in order for them to uh i don't know it's not that it's not working i do like it i like the effect it's pretty um but i think adding a color to it if you're trying to cover a page or do a craft or something like that that this would be the way to go by adding color this would just put some sparkle on it after you've added whatever kind of color it is that you're using um this would this would uh just i don't know add sparkle basically uh it does have like you know it does come out like the rusty color that it was it's just not full coverage basically it's just shiny shiny it's very shiny it's very very shiny let me see if i can get it up here you can see the sparkle in it but you can see there's like no color Oh, this flipping camera, whatever. I know I'm in focus because I see my fingernail fine. So yeah, this would just add shine. That's that's all. And it's it's still it's it's on there. Like I can take the lines out of it if I want, except with the color, the line is not coming off. Yeah, this stuff barely, it's, my hands aren't even sparkly. So the hairspray is definitely working. But yeah, I would just use this as just a sparkle or a shine. That's what I would use this for. I really should be labeling these things now. I really thought that I, I could just see through the clear and be like, oh, yeah, that's blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, not really. Looking up. <laughs> Please stay on for hours making sprays of your, of your face, Carla. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing, Vicky? Welcome. No, the hairspray is actually added into it. It's alcohol and hairspray, the mica, and then we're using colorant um, so far. Yeah. Hi, and, and congratulations and uh, to all of our new things, and thanks for voting and all that stuff. That's fine. Um, we used... This was Rit Dye, which was amazing. Even though I totally did it the wrong way. I like that. That is, this is so cool. And it's, you can see the mica still, it's sitting at the bottom. Like this stuff does not want to stay together. That is the coolest effect I've seen so far. Um, what was this one? I think this one was the, yeah. This one was that first uh, red wine one that we did. This one right here. That one. Which is pretty. Um, but still, because it's just the mica, this one was just mica, remember? Again, it's a pretty color. It adds some shine. But I have wine colored writ. And I like that effect. I'm going to put my wine color right in there. I sure. Oh my gosh. Oh, the lid wasn't all the way tight. Oh, 
Yes, thank goodness I'm over a trash can. Okay. Please hold while I clean this mess up. Oh, right on my hand. Oh, thank goodness I didn't get in the carpet. That wouldn't have been fun. I'd have been a little mad about that. Okay. All right, cleaned off the bottle some. I'm going to put some in here. Because I love the separation of these two colors. Like, they don't like each other. And that's cool with the... Oh, you can... Oh, oh, if you guys could see this angle, it's totally separating. They do not like each other at all. Rit and Micah, uh-uh. Nope, or it's the alcohol, or it's the hairspray. But it does not like each other at all. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is so like chemistry class, you guys. It's like, look, see it? Oh, wait, hold on. Where I can, you can kind of see it. Ah. Anyways, right here is a big part of RIT that's like, no, no, not even going next to you, buddy. Stay on your side. Okay, so let's shake this up. I don't think this one has a ball in it. Let's put a ball in it. We've been putting beads in it for balls. <laughs> Sorry. Beads for balls. Yeah. We use all the proper terms around here. All the proper terms. Beads for balls. Okay, that's a big enough one. It's not going to go up there. Okay, so this was the original one without it, anything, right? So let's spray it now with this. Let's spray it a couple of times, get the new in. Whoa, look at my trash can. It's so colorful. Oh, yeah. Oh, shut your face. That's awesome. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, is that pretty? Casey, you, I know you can see the shine in this one. I see it on my screen. Wow. They do not like each other. Even though, because they're so similar, had I done this with a different color, I can see the line that it's, it's, forming right here or that it formed to separate it does have the sheen on the top of it like it did the other writ but because this color is the same color we used the same color like they were the same color wine on wine uh is not having a similar effect if i use that writ dye the wine colored one and put in the gold i think it's going to have the same effect as it does with the blue which was amazing looked like a geo that was so cool that was such a happy accident i really should be writing on these bottles now what i'm doing uh yeah i like that color very fall uh very like old christmas maroon color oh yeah mm. like it burgundy pretty pretty none of these colors come out what they look like in the bottle that's that's cool that's cool okay so i can't say cool more often all right let me put some lids on these it's right by my computer okay there's some lids on those all right so what we have here and we already added the adhesive why is my mouse right there this is the color wash. This was the lettuce colored Tim Holtz color wash. So that's my basis for my color. I don't have to put any markers in, anything like that. I've used these before. Um, oops, that's for the hairspray. <laughs> Whoops. Boy, that hairspray is going to be pretty. Um, I've used these before on a live like here i'll just spray i forget what we use these for but i was like oh look what i got i got these 
like that's the color of lettuce very pretty color olivey color but just to add some glimmer and some shine to it i mean let's try it out it's going to take a minute to dry so while i'm doing that i'll add some color to it and oh, sorry i keep pulling that sleeve up because it's a little warm um i want to try this radiant this is the one we don't have open of course i want to try the one we don't have open I remember just pop the bottoms off it's much easier than trying to get through that little hole because it does not shake out yeah sure just fall wherever you want go ahead this is a brownish color i'll hold it up to the it's just makeup it'll come out in the wash it's more of a brown color, kind of a brown color. And remember that scary black thing that's ha uh, right there. That's the brush. Duh, Michelle. Duh. Okay. So we got this lettuce color. We're going to add some of this in. Where's that palette knife thing? That's the thing that worked, right? I was using the palette knife. Oh, we don't need this little straw here anymore. Full of hairspray. Let's clean up the area a bit. Let's get the color wash out of the way over there. Uh, what does that one do? Oh, no. What the heck's this lid do? anyone all my beads <laughs> ah, I love it. oh yeah what a day oh see that's too much you got to get it to where it's skinny enough where you can knock it off on the sides and you want to add a, like a fair amount like one little scoop's not going to do it if you're looking for you know shine it's, I guess this would be where your preference would come in, like how shiny you want it and how shiny you don't want it. Okay. Oh, geez. Now I got three of them upside down. Oh, this is just... Okay, this one I think can balance over here. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's messy. Okay, stay. They're all like balanced, even the bags. Um, that's cool. I like that color. is very pretty. There it is on my mat. If you can see it at all. Okay, we're shaking. You guys like in the autofocus, or should I just turn this thing off? Oh, that's fine, Vicky. Thanks for, for for stopping in and visiting me. Thank you. Vicky's also on the uh, Foxy Creative Design team. She's linked below. Uh, in, uh, and so are all the new members as well. There was uh, five. Five. They're all linked underneath in the down bar. Okay, so this is lettuce. This was the regular, just plain. Um, now it's probably gonna do is just add some sparkle, squirt it a few times. My trash is so colorful. Yeah, it added sparkle. That's for sure. This is very messy. This bottle and this color wash, no, uh-uh. Look, that's gross. That's just gross. If that's going to happen to me every time I use it, no thank you. I don't want to use this product. I already knew the first time when I used them um, on the live that they were messy. But come on now. That's just, that's gross. I don't even want this color. 
Um, but yeah, it did add the shine. Uh, if you have better color washes, these are kind of a little outdated. Um, it did add shine and sparkle to it, but it's still the same color. But there's the shine. There you go. There's the shine in it. Right there. Ooh, ooh, there we go. We got it. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh -uh. I could just see this like in my whole. I don't even want to keep the bottle. Like, no. No. Uh, I don't like the color washes so far. I don't know if it's like the consistency of the, the stuff, but yeah, I, I don't like that. I don't like that. I like to get messy and stuff like that, but that's just a little too much. I don't like that. Yeah, that's pretty. Hello, everyone with my lettuce looking fingers. Yeah, I don't like that. Should I have my gloves on? Oh, it's dry on the mat pretty much. Like it, like it, like it. Okay, so uh, like I said, if you wanted to do like a more expensive way, you can always use your magicals, micas, things like that. Eyeshadow is the way to go. It's at the Dollar Tree. Um, these were at Walmart. They were in the soap section. The soap section. Oh, look, they're hypoallergenic. Safe and easy to use. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Says you. Okay. So the next thing I wanted to show you was making the texture paste with it. And I just have, you know, you could buy these little things at the Dollar Tree. Comes in there. I'm just going to put some of this stuff in it. I don't think I've ever used this. It's called Dimensional Magic. Never used it. I have no clue what it does. Nope. Ever used it. Comes out nice. And if I wanted to give this a color. Because. <clears throat> let's see. Um, What haven't we done yet? There's the purple eyeshadow. Let's see. Um, I'm going to grab a domino. A wooden one. You guys know the dominoes from the Dollar Tree. That one has writing on the back. I guess this would just be the when I, because I did watch some videos, duh. Um, this was just used with mica only and this was just to put the glimmer on it was just like that spray that i did with the um the rust color um it just adds some extra sparkle or some extra shine so let's just add this color let's add a little sunshine Definitely an easier thing to put it in. I like it. Stay. Don't fall. I have everything balanced. It's, yeah. Oh, geez. Sorry about that. Stupid brew. Sorry. Ugh. And you just mix it in. The neat thing about this is this glue is water-based. So when I'm done with this, I can clean it out and I can make another color. And all this is going to do is just give me, I guess, my with Mod Podge, you can buy like a sparkle one or something uh, that has sparkles in it already. But this just gives it a little color. 
to it. Not like a iridescence, and I guess is the the sparkle that would be in the sparkle mod podge, like an iridescent, where this is more of a I don't know sunshine. Okay, they're sticking together. Stop. Okay. How do I wipe off my brush there? I'm just gonna flip my brush over. I'm gonna take it down here. Oh, is my head in the way? No. Ooh, it's the color of vintage. It would just add a little sparkle, a little sheen. That's all it's doing is adding a little, let me get up here, a little sparkle. Look at that. Very pretty. That almost reminds me of that Tim Holtz. What is that? Ah, it's not, is it the crazing? That's the brown one. Which one is that? I think it's the crazing. I don't know. It comes in a package of three. And I remember I got it and they were all dry by the time that I tried to use them. And I was like, yep, not buying that again. Uh, for sure. But yeah, just gives it a little bit of shine. That's a different way to use your mica powders too. I like that. Very cool. Very cool. Put that away. And if I want to, this is semi airtight. I'm sure it would last like overnight. Uh, would I trust like just keeping a bunch of these around? No, it's probably going to dry. It's going to harden in there. Um, no, I would just go wash this down my sink and just use it again. Uh, Thanks, Jamie. You're embarrassing, though. Uh, I know. That's a pretty good idea. Oh, bye, Amanda. Oh, she's going to pick up Henry. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, okay, is there anything that I haven't done yet that you want to see? Oh, I didn't do this. I don't know if you want to see it, but I want to play with this. It's called... I don't know. Yeah, like I'm going to be able to read that. What? No. Not going to be able to read that. I liked this color, this blue. And I liked this blue Sharpie. They kind of go together. I don't know what it is lately. But I'm liking. Just like the, oh, see? See those sticky dots? Oh, they kind of do help. Here, stick on the side of the hairspray. Thanks. I have two bottles of hairspray up here. I won't grab that one. Or knowing me, I probably will. Again, I cut all these down at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my little... Make sure the powder's not on that. My little bead in it. It's a big enough bead. I want to... Yep, that's right. I'm using my jewelry snips for this. Pull it out because I thought I had pliers up here. But it don't. All right. So, take this marker apart. The last one wasn't so easy. These Sharpies are kind of rough to take apart. Uh, the ones with the ends on the back, those are easy because it just pops off the back. I haven't tried to take one of these front ones off yet. Okay. 
Okay, it's moving. Oh, there it comes. Oh, well, alrighty then. That thing just pops right on out with your nib and all. Okay, so we found out that if we slice them open, trying to, oh, this is just, yeah, get the glove, get the glove, girl, get the glove. Let's just slice this open with my box cutter. Take that off of there. We're just cutting it in half. Oh boy, this is really inky. Oh, hurry up and cut. You are inky. Wow, is that cover hard? Okay, well, it's cut open. It is blue. That is a blue color, isn't that gray? Again, using all my icky things, not nothing nice here. Ooh, yeah, a lot of that just dripped out on my mat. Yeah, it's really blue. That's really blue. Oh, it's a pretty blue, though. Wipe my box cutter off. I'm done with that glove. Let me pick up this excess right here because knowing me, I'll stick my elbow in it. Okay. Same thing again. I'm going to put some alcohol in. I wish these markers would separate like the other ones. Like the red. That's cool. I need to go out and get more red now. I like that effect. You guys like that effect? I really like that effect. I like this. That was neat. And I am going to put the hairspray in with the crazy bottle color. See, not that much. And I'm actually going to use the white because I think the blue on blue, too much. Too much. We're going to let it sit for a second. Ooh, the light through that one, it's its a pretty blue. It's a really pretty blue. What's this, like, I had a side view camera. All that's sitting. Let me look up. I'm looking up. I never listened to you for what? What? Patina and Rust. I'm back. What's that mean? Patina and rust. Do I have a patina? Do I have a patina marker? I don't know. Would this be patina? Look. It's a little bit more greener. It's showing up blue, but this is green actually. Not green green. It looks like patina. It matches this right here. If you're looking at your acrylics right now, Amanda, it totally matches this mermaid. Mermaid. Mermaid teal. It matches it perfectly. So that's closest to patina that I got. Oh, I wonder if I use wow that's expensive though to use like if you were to use your acrylics like that I mean because I know acrylics and water work because I used it the white um the white one because I cannot get my hands on a picket fence um so I just made my own uh yeah sure did made my own Okay. This part here. Alright, I want to use the white in this because um I want the shimmer to really really show. I think if the if I did it 
blue on blue. Yeah, I would add more blue to the color. And if I want a deeper blue, I could go ahead and I could add that ash, that eyeshadow same as, you know, I added this one. But I think for right now, I want to try the white. Um, and all this is basically going to do, if you can see it, is give it a, it's a, uh, boy, I will never use autofocus skin. Um, it's an iridescent shine. It's not coming up as shiny. Huh. So, anyways, let me tell you what's happening this weekend on Saturday at my household. Shell is getting new internet. That's right. Brand new internet. High speed. Part of the whatever world of high speed internet. Um, Y'all know I have Frontier. Uh, they have airplanes. Please don't fly in them because they can't even get internet right. But this weekend, uh, we will have two modems in our house now. Uh, Jaden will be able to stay on while I am streaming. It's just going to be a whole big life changer, let me tell you. Hopefully, streams will get better. Uh, that's maybe doing the filming of my collaboration. Okay, this is just messy. Hold on. I've been filming my collaboration instead of going live with it. And plus, I, I wanted it a little bit in, uninterrupted. And yes, Amanda, I'm two videos in. Because you were like, post them all at once. They won't be posted all at once. But I do have some stuff to put up. Now, for those of you who don't know, I am making a curiosity box with attic lane collaboration with attic lane um using her digis which is deborah from the attic there all right so i got all that out of that pan okay so the makeup pan you throw that away. I don't really think that, that anything will go in there. Much easier now to take out. Gotta crunch it up a little bit because it's kind of chunk, kind of chunky. Before I do this, though, I have to get those markers out. I defeat the purpose. You could leave the markers in, though. Um, the last time I did my uh, sprays, I left the markers in. They didn't bother me. They just, you know, each time, yeah, I expect a different color. I mean, it's going to get to a point to where it stops. But if you want like that dark, dark color, leave the marker in. No big deal. It's you. You, you, do you. All right. Let's see what this looks like plain. I like doing before and after. This looks exactly like the color of the red dye before we added color to it. I don't know why, but that's such a pretty, it's like a dusty blue. Yeah, I will go 91% alcohol, please, because it dries super fast. Okay, so there's that plane. Just looks like dusty blue. Just dusty blue. It's a pretty color. It's a very pretty color. Um, I don't mind that color. And I don't mind my ink things staying in there. This is where it, it looks like coming out. Frontiers, oh. Oh. boy, that's going to be a good day Saturday when I say cancel me. Send me a box so I can send your little crappy modem back to you. Yeah, I want to 
I wouldn't want to be that guy on the end of the phone, even though they're not responsible for it, you know. You just feel a little bit better when you're like, I'm just angry. Somebody listen to me. Yeah, I, I'm done play, paying for it. It's just, it's just it's, it's no fair to Jaden. You know, right now he's doing schoolwork, so he's on his hot spot. He's got something to do. But those days when I do like 12 hour sales and stuff like that, he's staring at the walls or he's offline watching a movie, you know? He doesn't want to do that. He's 16. He wants to talk to his friends and hang out with his boys and play COD and all that stuff that they do. I am putting a little bit more in here because I want some shimmer. Yeah. Right now it's pretty separated, but you can definitely tell at the bottom. You can see the mica down there. Definitely separate. Oh, oh it looks like the galaxy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is so cool. Oh. Hey, Penny. 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 How you doing? Hi, Christina. Welcome. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Oh, it looks like the galaxy, you guys. Oh, that's really pretty. That was the white. Shook up pretty well, too. Like it. Okay, so we're going to do a before and after. This is, our, this is what it looks like plain. Okay, let me get it up into the autofocus part of the camera. That's what it looks like plain. Kind of like, it's not a doll color, but it's, you know. Whatever. It's whatever. So let's shake it. Whoa. This is magic, you guys. I am fascinated by magic. Let me tell you. These things is magic. I'm making magic, seriously. And by leaving those markers in there, you will see how the, t the color has totally changed. To the actual color of that marker. You dry it. Only going to take a second. Again, I'm using 91% uh, the isopropyl, isoprolol, whatever you call it, alcohol. 70% uh, is fine. 50% is fine. It's just this is 9% uh, water. Meaning it's going to dry faster. 70%, obviously, 30% water, 50%, half and half. So, some fat, how fast you want it to dry. Holy what? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it got darker in color. Just a, just a titch. It's noticeable. But the shine went through the roof. Like, can you see that shine? Oh, I like the eyeshadow. Like right there. That shine. That sparkle, because that's sprayed. Look at it. Oh, yeah. That's all shine. You can't see it because it's shiny. Oh. <laughs> I like it. This is fun. This is great. Wow. Yeah. I like these. I like this a lot. Again, should have wrote, but I'm going to see. I can see the marker sticks in there, so I know that this is marker. So we've used the red dye. I've showed you a dimensional paste with it. Uh, we've used markers. We just tried the mica on its own. Didn't work. It needed some kind of coloring in it. Um... Uh, use the color wash? Absolutely not. No, thank you. I do not like that one at all. Um, they work fine on their own, but, I mean, that's gross. I'm not going to have a bottle explode on me every time I go to use it. It's just, it didn't mix well with the alcohol or something. I don't know, but I didn't like it. And, I mean, 
I'll definitely tell you what I think about something for sure. And I like that one. Just that one. Dang. <clears throat> More wipes out to wipe off the scissors. And the blue is coming off the scissors. Yay. Again, use your not so good. Um, now, where'd this one come from? Oh, here. Use your not so good tools in doing this because it's very, very messy. Very, very messy. Um, especially if you decide to go the marker route. Uh, that was messy. Uh, the colorant, the color wash, that was terribly messy. Um, I'm going to probably do like every marker I got here. But I will, I'm going to end this stream. Um, I appreciate all of you all coming in. I love your faces. Uh, please. Well, that's going to be a great thumbnail. Um, please, if you get a chance, uh, check out my down bar. The first five people are the brand new uh, DT members. Um, got some good ones. Got some good ones. Um, Kip, congratulations again. I, I, I'm really excited for your, for your journey. It's fun. You're gonna have a lot of fun. We're pretty, we're pretty cool. Um, so those are the colors I made. This was the yellowish. This was the wine. This was the blue. Uh, this was just the mica. And that was the writ. The writ is the best. Um, and I did add the wine writ in with this one. Now I'm going to do one with the wine and a different mica color. Because I love that geo look. That was really fun. Um, I hope you guys had a great time. Tell all your friends. Okay, yes, I will, Dana. Um, it's awesome. Thanks, Jamie. I appreciate it. Uh, it's just a way to save a couple of bucks. Your everything I got was at the Dollar Tree, available at the Dollar Tree. Um, the only thing I didn't get at the Dollar Tree, and I will tell you right here, I got it at a garage sale. Look how much I got it for. Twenty-five cents. You see these all the time at garage sales. Get them. Um, because not only do they work for your sprays, they work for paper. They work for, you know, all the things. Don't go to Walmart and spend, you know, three, four bucks, five bucks, whatever they are. Um, the most expensive thing that I did use today was these Mike colorants. I did get these at Walmart. They were under $3, but everything else, my alcohol, my hairspray, all the bottles, um, even these little bottles, the makeups, everything, Dollar Tree, the Sharpies, the markers, Dollar Tree, everything, all this came, it's all Dollar Tree, everything. Dollar Tree does sell Sharpies, yes. Um, yeah, I'm at the Dollar Tree. Uh, remember, when you're using the, these are the LA Colors. Uh, pop them off the bottom. Don't try and shake it out of the little pop. It'll drive you nuts. Um, I'm going to leave the gold open because I'm going to use that one. I like that. I'm also going to try that silver one too with the writ. Because that writ stuff is pretty neat. Um, but yeah, I got it all very very cheaply because you know i didn't get in and get to pre-order anything of the the you know mica sprays and anything like that uh like in a pinch in a pinch your magicals would work but magicals are hurt expensive they're expensive i'm serious i think i paid 17 or 19 for for my magicals it's around that. Yeah, they last forever, but would I use them in a project like this? No, I'm not trying to impress anybody. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, just do my crafts. Um, 
and save a buck here to, you know, or three or four or five, 10, anything. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, I hope you guys like it. I hope that you'll use this and they work the same exact way. It's just because it doesn't have a label on it doesn't mean it doesn't work. It works. Uh, I'm going to be using them for sure. Um, like I said before, uh, if you go way back in my playlist, I show you five different ways. And that includes Kool-Aid of making sprays. It's just sprays, period. Um, I don't believe I touch on the mica. Uh, yes, I do. I called them shimmer spray or something back then. I don't know. It's like from two years ago. It's a it's like a, a video where you can see my face. It's all fuzzy. You could tell I really didn't have good internet. It's a bad video. Uh, but it gives you five ideas of how to do it. I believe there's a supply list on there too. I was kind of thorough back then. Anyways, I love your faces. Thank you so much for coming in. Do I like the spray bottles? The Dollar Tree spray bottles? No, I went over that in the beginning. I do not because they, um, they're a circle. They shoot in a circle. Like, okay, because this is paper watch. When, let me shake it up. When you spray these bottles from the Dollar Tree, no, I don't like them because it's a straight circle. I, no. Uh -uh. I don't like it. Uh, it just, there, that's a whole, that just got my whole desk. Like, see the big, the circle? No, I don't like that. I have to come up with some other concoction or just buy better bottles. But for now, yeah, it's going to work. I'll work around it. I know that they don't work well. So I'm going to be mindful from now on because I do use this one with the acrylic and the white. Um, like I just kind of put my hand over it or I shoot, you know, or I barely squirt it. And just put the drops down like that. Uh, I kind of cover it and it works a lot better that way because I learned the hard way that that went everywhere. It was on the computer. It was on, it was everywhere. But I um, hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you can think of other ways, put them down below. Please share with everybody. Um, and like I said, I'm not the only one that makes it, made this video. Uh, there's other ladies out there that I can probably teach you way better than I did. Uh, I just wanted to play. I want to get some sprays. I've never tried the RIT. I've never even tried the texture paste before. Well, not texture, but the paste. This. And we just made it out of the dimensional magic. Just to add color and sparkle to your... Your projects right now it's autumn do your leaves like that tracy's got a challenge sparkle them up make them pretty um i will be back uh i probably won't be live um okay i'll be live friday uh michelle with two l's is having a huge d stash friday and literally it's a d stash y'all it's like dollar stuff but, like, for your cricket, like, it's a good D stash. Um, that's Michelle with two L's. She's linked below. She's Girly Girl Creates. Uh, so the 15th and the 17th will be her product sale. So she's having two sales this weekend. I'll be moderating both of those for her. Uh, I'll be recently releasing another one of my um, Curiosity Box, the collaboration. Uh, probably they're going to do that. Wednesday or Thursday. Um, it's coming along quite good. Uh, so that was fun. And Amanda loved yours. Hello. I was like, whatever show off. No, I'm kidding. It was beautiful. I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And if you're new and you're not subscribed to my Facebook group, everything is down below. Um, that's where you can follow me. Instagram, everything that's a wealth of information underneath this video. So, yeah, that was a pretty long goodbye. Wow. Oh, I just say goodbye. There's one thing you've spurred on. 
I think that that would be the one thing if there were, yeah, one thing would be the bottle. You're, you're correct on that, Carla, seriously. And again, thank you for the fabric. I appreciate the gift. I did get it from Pearl. Um, I appreciate that very much. It's beautiful fabric. You'll, you'll see it. Wait, whose shop are we visiting? I didn't see a shop. Hold on. Where's my mouse? Hold on. What are we doing up here? You know, Paula, magic is exciting for me, seriously. <laughs> I'm telling you. Anything that this makes magic is is awesome. Um Christina's that her Etsy has stamps. I'll have to go check that out. I did not know that. Very cool. Well, all right then. Yep, that's my Facebook group right there. All right, red ladies, love your faces. Uh, you can always email me if you need me before any time or anything like that. All you gotta do is holler and I'm here. I'm here. Um Tonight, I'll probably be working on a little bit more colors. I'm going to throw on a movie and just get to work in. And hopefully, I can incorporate these in some of my projects. I can tell you that I won't be using it on the Curiosity Box. Um, it's just nothing that is needed for that because it looks cool as it is. Um... Oh, thanks, Christina. Appreciate it. I will. I'll go check it out. Thank you very much. Um, everyone have a great evening. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will talk to you all soon. Uh, but if you need me, I'm always around in the group. Okay? Love your faces. Bye.